let's learn about Vandermond's identity. Actually, it's a Chinese identity from 13th century. It was later rediscovered by Vandermond. Uh, it's an idea from combinatorics and the proof involves a very powerful idea from combinatorics called combinatorial argument. So as usual, we will learn this using a problem. So we start with a problem and then we gradually understand the concept. This is actually how all Chintaka classes work. Start with a problem and then understand the concept. Okay. All right. So what is the problem here? So the problem here is this and it's from ISI entrance. And it's actually from other Olympiads as well. So it's a very simple problem if you know Van der Mons identity. It says that find a compressed form of 50 choose 0 times 50 choose 1 plus 50 choose 1 times 50 choose 2 up to 50 choose 49 times 50 choose 50. So you want to write this, this is our goal. You want to write this as n choose r form. Okay. So now here is a comment about notation. This is same as n c r, which usually has a formula n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial. So this is sometimes known as a binomial coefficient. If you know binomial coefficients, then you understand what I'm talking about. If you do not know binomial coefficients, then you have to first go and understand what those are and then come back to this problem. Anyway, so continuing, we want to come convert this giant sum of products of binomial coefficients into one binomial coefficient. And we can do this using something called combinatorial argument and it's very very nice you should you'll be able to use it very um, very efficiently once you learn it so to do that we need a lemma like a short theorem uh, and it is this that n choose r is equal to n choose n minus r and of course you can do this using formula you can do this using formula but i would say do not do this using formula let's use argument uh, and you'll get the first taste of combinatorial argument when we will solve this so i'll give you a rough argument suppose there are, so you want to show that these the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. So what is the meaning of the left hand side? The meaning of the left hand side is, so the meaning is choosing R things from N things, N distinct things. Okay, now imagine that these N distinct things are on the table so you have a table you so n, suppose n is equal to 10 okay so or maybe i can use a smaller one so let's say n is equal to 5 so you have five objects on the table so all these objects are different okay so i'll just put some strings on the top of them just to make sure they're different now Suppose you want to select these two objects, the two in the green. This is one selection, one selection of two things from five. There are several way to do this. This is one such selection. Notice that you could have also said, instead of saying that you are selecting the two green ones, you could have said you are not selecting the three red ones. You are not 
selecting the three red ones. So selecting the two green green things is same as not selecting the three red things. So you are basically indirectly selecting the red things. You are indirectly selecting the red things when you select the two green things. So it, what I'm trying to say here is five choose two, that is choosing two things out of five is same as not choosing three things out of five, the remaining three things. And that means, that means indirectly, indirectly indicating those three things, those three things. So whenever you are, so this is the thing, this is the gist of the argument whenever you are selecting our things whenever you are selecting our things you are deselecting the remaining n minus r things which makes you indirectly select or indicate them so that's why n choose r is equal to n choose n minus r in this particular case it is much easier to do this using the formula but I would urge you to just think about the argument because that would be much useful in the long run. Okay, just use it, use the argument, train your brain to think about the argument. That would be much, much more useful in the long run. Okay, so now let's come back to um, this uh, problem. So we have this 50 choose 0, 50 choose 1, 50 choose 1, 50 choose 2, this kind of stuff. We will do a small replacement. We will change this 50 to 0, this first thing, first binomial coefficient by 50 choose 50. So because 50 choose 0 is equal to 50 choose 50 minus 0, right? Because n choose r is equal to n choose n minus r, we just found it. So we will replace this one by 50 choose 50. In the second one, we will do 50 choose 49 because 50 choose 1, 50 choose 1 is equal to 50 choose 49. We are again using this, um, using the same idea. So 50 choose 49, okay. And in the last one, we have 50 choose 1 and 50 choose 50. So we will do, well, let's do that. 50 choose 1, so... Maybe I can so 50 choose 1 and 50 choose 50. Okay, so we have this uh, uh, thing. Uh, we have this transformation now. We have this new expression. And you might think that, okay, nothing much has, nothing, not, no improvement has been made. I mean, it's still this monstrous big uh, expression. But actually a lot has happened. You see what has happened. I'll just make a little space here and you will be able to see what's going on. Uh, we will be using Vandermont's identity now. The idea is this and we will start with a specific example. Suppose there is a class of 100 students. There's a class of 100 students. Let me make a bring it to the front okay now it's divided into two sections so you have section one which has 50 students you have section two which has another 50 students okay so still a class of 100 students still a class of 100 students but there is this uh, division of two sections okay you want to you want to select 51 students from this class of 100 students select 51 students from this class of 100 students so how can you do this you can do 100 choose 51 
this is the all the number of ways of choosing 51 kids from all of these 100 kids or you can use this two sections and do it the hard way so what is the hard way the hard way is you can so you have to check the cases so case one select 50 kids from section one and select the remaining one kid from section two okay so how can you do this so this is so this is and 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 means multiplication if you know multiplication rule so this is 50 choose 50 that's the number of ways you can choose 50 kids from section 1 times times 50 choose 1 that's the number of ways you can choose one kid from section 2 this is case 1 or what could happen or means addition right or case 2 is select so I can just choose this okay so this is select 49 kids from section 1 section 1 that's 50 choose 49 and 2 kids from section 2 so now you are doing each of these cases together 50 choose two ways right so if you want to select 50 kids uh, two kids from section 2 that's 50 choose 2 so you multiply those two so this times this now you are seeing a separate meaning of this particular expression uh, let me just push this apart a little bit throw this away okay now let's look at this so what do you have here you have 50 choose 50 that's choose 50 kids from the first section one kid from the second section maybe i can indicate this a little bit section one section two okay section one section two and finally section one section two so these are all possible cases you can choose one kid from the first section that's the final situation you can select one kid from the first section and 50 kids from the last second one so what is this if you add all of these cases you have all the ways you have all the ways of selecting you have all the ways of selecting uh, 51 kids so you have all the ways of selecting 51 kids from the class of 100 so this is this must be 100 choose 51 that's the final answer so this is the van der Mond's identity and now i'll take you to the final section of van der Mond's identity uh, what is the van der Mond's identity you have a class of m plus n people you have a class of m plus n people and you have two sections you have two sections section one with m people and section two with n people and you want to choose choose r from m plus n so one way to do this is just select m do m plus n choose r this will give you all the ways of selecting r people from m plus n people the other way will be to do this separate cases select all the r people from m people and select zero people from n ones so you'll get one case something times something so maybe m choose r times n choose zero of course you are assuming r is less than m or n and if r is not less than m or n which is the example that we had then you can select as many as you can from the first section and the remaining ones from the second section and so on so keep on doing this uh, and you will get the if you do all the cases the final result that you have is this giant sum of the product of the binomial coefficients and that should be equal to m plus n choose r 
if you if you try this on your own if you can do this put the final result in the comment section let me see if you can discover the final expressions of expression for van der Mond's identity on your own from this discussion keep doing great mathematics i'll see you in the next one